Six years ago today, I woke up out of a three-day coma. It wasn't my first, but hopefully it was my last. I had a severe asthma attack and my airways had shrunken to the size of a pinhole and I had effectively lost the oxygen to my brain for about four or five minutes when my wife pulled into the parking lot at the Methodist Hospital in Grand Prairie. All I can remember that there were some flashing lights and a man with an African accent was rolling me in on a stretcher as the lights were flashing. I was blacking in and out and I knew I didn't want to die. And I flashed back to three days prior. I consulted the Miriam de la Womb and the Arisha said that death was coming for me in the next seven days. And it wanted to take me or my unborn child. My wife at the time was eight months pregnant and was in dental school. We couldn't lose another child. So I did Ebo and as the EJ had hit my head, I had an acute asthma attack that took me to the hospital. The next day, my mother flew from Arizona. Um, they had told her that things were bad and weren't looking good and she needed to come. My father, um, he didn't come to Monday. He told the members of his congregation at church that if uh, his son had not uh, come out of the coma by Monday, he was getting on the plane and he was going to wake his son up from the dead. And so the first thing I remember was my father's voice and the pain of having the intubation machine all the way down my throat that was breathing my heart. And um, for the next three or four days, I was floating somewhere between life and death. Somewhere between life and death and the ancestors. If you want to hear the rest of my story, you got to come out Saturday night to the Pan-African Connection where I talk about my journey into the land of the ancestors. Um, at that lecture, I'll be talking about the ancestors and I will be talking about um, the importance of having a relationship with the ancestors. I will um, be teaching ways to heal ancestral wounds, um, ways how we can elevate our ancestral karma and end ancestral curses that are plaguing us in our life. And I will teach three principles of traditional African spirituality that can make your life better regardless of your religious persuasion. So I invite you out, come out with your family or bring a friend Saturday, um, the 27th at 7 p.m. at the Pan-African Connection. My name is Huno Ile Tunji. Peace and love. I hope to see you.